Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FPGA mean filter 01. Introduction. The mean filter is also called average filter. Okay. So, the first question is, what is the uh, mean filter? What is the mean filter? What is the FPGA mean field? Okay. So for FPGA application, the first thing is uh, we have one FPGA. And we will have one clock. And we will have the reset pin. We will have one enable, one enable pin. The most important, we will have the date input signal. The date input signal will input the date like this. Okay. We uh, here we take an example from zero one to ten. This is ten uh, digital numbers. So we will have one date out, date out pin. We also have one down pin, okay, signal down. So we take the 10 number, digital number, digital data, and uh, into the FPGA, do the mean filter processing, and we output one result data here, okay. When we get the done signal, we read the output data here. So how the actually algorithm inside the FPGA? The first thing we will sum up, we will edit all the number, we will all we will edit all the data together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten we get one value and then we will divide it by 10 we get one date out we get one date out data okay so this is the basic this is the basic algorithm okay for some for some application we do some modification we improve the algorithm like this. So first, we will get the um, minimum value. In this case, is zero one. Uh, from the ten number data, we get the minimum value zero one. And also, we will get the maximum value. Maximum value here is ten. And then next, we will minus the minimum and the max from the sum value. After this, we divide it by A. We output this data as our output data. So the equation will change from here to here. Okay. So, by this way, we can better remove the noise. Okay. So, uh, this is, you will see, this is very simple and easy implement for FPGA. But it is very useful for the um, digital data processing. Uh, we can use it for the uh, ADC value. ADC uh, signal processing, we can use it for the image data processing and also audio processing, audio data processing. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, basic idea for the average field, mean field. Okay, so uh, next video we will take a look how we actually coding it for F FPGA application. Okay, so this is Michael and see you next time.